I am Diana Andone. I'm coming from the e-learning center of the Polytechnica University of Timisoara, Romania. And my presentation, part of the European Distance Learning Week, which is organized by EDEN, an organization in which I'm members of for almost 20 years, is about augmented reality in open education. We are all aware of the digital literacies and what we need to teach and to encourage our students to gain as competencies and skills, especially in the higher education system, which we call digital competencies or digital literacies, skills and competencies. One of the things which interests me for many years is the computational thinking, which nowadays becomes quite a custom for all the students, not necessarily students which are in engineering or in science or STEM subjects, to develop as a new methodology of computational thinking, which in fact use abstraction and decomposition for learning new things, for understanding and learning new things. Since 2011, I became quite aware of the new methods for the creative creatives. We need to develop the 21st century skills for our students, which will need to become creative creators, which Tom Friedman described as the well-educated, imaginative, collaborative, confident people who will take personal responsibility and will go the extra mile to develop anything. The Open Lifelong Learning student became quite an interesting subject for me in the last years. It's something which is adding extra beside the 21st century skills. There are students which will need to learn independently and digitally their entire life. Do we prepare them in our higher education institutions for this? Do we make them aware of the skills and abilities which they need to have? Do we prepare for their digital life? after the end of the university degree. One of the methods to do this is to use augmented reality. And there are several examples of the use of the augmented reality nowadays in education, like in math school or in chemistry or in science subjects, where you can learn and understand better concepts and theories by seeing and playing with simulations and so on. Or, for example, in schools, in engineering subjects, where you can understand how fluids work in and work in an engine and so on. But this will require a lot of development from the multimedia teams. And this usually involves just a tiny bit of the development part of the students. But, for example, new skills like these applications allow them to do, like to, to learn and to create content, like the museum's application, will allow them to do something more. What, why is it important to use augmented reality nowadays in education? Mainly because it's here and because students already start using it by playing different games which use augmented reality and they use their mobile phones quite a lot. The added value is the collaborative learning experience which they can gain and also the encouragement and the motivation to learn something new more interactively and more digitally. A study done some years ago shows that the use of augmented reality in higher education is mainly related to science and medical schools and humanities and art, like the example which I just showed. But they can be used in different subjects and in different areas. One of the examples which I'm going to show is based on my personal experience, which is mainly using augmented reality tools in a, the TalkTech project, which is a virtual mobility project which is done between the students from Romania and United States for every year since 28, 28, so almost 10 years now, where students from a university from Boston with the students from my university in Timisoara work collaboratively in teams of two, two Romanians and two Americans, to develop the multimedia artifact. In the 2016 project, we asked them to develop an in an augmented reality application, an artifact using augmented reality. How the project of the virtual mobility um, is run constantly and continuously follows the same path. The first one is a very structured and planning uh, project-based activity. We create the structure and the plan, but we allow the students to choose the subject for which they will do their artifact, the technology which they will in which they will produce the artifact, and also the way and the methods of how they communicate. 
So a lot of the control is given to the students, which will understand how to create during a two month period, as the talk that usually lasts for two months, the, how to say, how to create the timeline, the milestones and the activities which they need to deliver as at the end to produce, in this case, an augmented reality multimedia artifact. We meet online quite often, like it's here, me meeting the Boston students, or they meet also online and they present what sort of applications they have done and how they've been using it. Since 2008, <coughs> students used several tools, usually between 16 to 20 different tools to produce the multimedia artifacts. They are tools with a huge range from productivity, management, planning, to communication, technical tools, coding tools, or augmented reality tools. In this case, at the end, they will need to produce an interactive multimedia artifact by using ThinkLink, which is a multimedia interactive info infographic free tool, and where they put and they create their content, their image, and also they can add information. At the end, they created also a video like this, and they show this between their colleagues with integrating augmented reality. Like this will give information where they are and what they are doing. At the end, the virtual mobility project, the Talk Tech 2016, as all the other Talk Techs, ended with a common presentation done jointly between the Romanian and the American students, where they jointly present in teams of two Romanians and two Americans what they have done. What is their perception on creativity? Because that's one of the things which we always looked into. How and what tools can enhance their creativity, can make them more creative? Obviously, as you can see, they rated augmented reality apps or the ThinkLink application, which is this multimedia interactive infographic, as the most creative tools which they used and enhanced their creativity. What sort of augmented reality apps they used in the 2016 project? Orasma was the most popular one, and basically mostly because Orasma is a free tool and allows sharing much more openly between uh, your peers and your friends and, and your network. What we have learned on all of this virtual mobility, so besides of the augmented reality uh, project, we ask the students to experience also virtual mobility. Why? Mainly because this is how they are going to work in their entire life from nowadays. They will have teams which will not necessarily be located in, their, in the same office. They will work remotely with colleagues which probably they have never seen or never met and with whom they will need to get on and to deliver by using their own abilities of management skills, communication and, and production uh, to deliver a product at the end. And this is why the virtual mobility is allowing and encouraging them to learn. So what we have learned, that it's very multicultural, obviously there is not only Romanian and Americans, the American students come from different cultures and even different countries. They need to learn how to do things online and also taking in time zones and, and tools and possibilities and technological mishaps and uh, breakdowns and changes of the technology or changes of different applications which, which they are aware and so on and, and being aware of all of this information which they need to learn how to manage by themselves. Students, as I said, they can choose the tools, the communication, their working time and hours and obviously only the result counts. So they learn how to analyze, create, synthesize, create digital media artifacts by integrating this into their digital learning. How you can do it? How I encourage you to do it with your students in any subject? Pick up a tool. Pick up a creative, augmented reality creative web app. Upload an image, a simple image, a book, a text, any image, a picture which you take from your library from your university setting. Specify the multimedia which is to display. What sort of things do you want to see? An animation, a video. Another example from somewhere. Use the open educational resources. Quite a lot of them of very good quality and available to all. Then the users, encourage your students to do it, learn it, and also develop it further. 
at the end you will see that they will be able very how to say to learn to synthesize and to understand how the power of the digital world in a positive way in a way which will encourage them to learn more and to find more information and to do things so my advice at the end is try always new things don't be afraid and try it quite a lot of the examples of the things which i've done in the past you can find them on my slide share or in my linkedin account and please feel free to email me and to find more information i apologize for not being live at this moment i'm landing at this moment for the eden executive committee meeting in kaunas lithuania but i'll be live later for questions and trying to give you more feedback thank you